This is the first ROM out for POCO X Pro coming on Android 14. Introducing Evolution X Topper. What's up everyone, welcome back to another interesting video on custom rooms and today I'll be reviewing the first room to be out on Android 14 for POCO X4 Pro, the Evolution X Tappa. So I'll be talking about everything starting from the new features you get in this room along with the software, performance, battery backup and most importantly the bugs. So before we get started, let me tell you that only 11% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe my channel if you like my content. And now let's get the video started with the software department. Talking about the software, so obviously as I mentioned before, this room comes on Android 14 and it comes with the new easter egg animation. So when you hold the Android 14 logo for a while, as you can see it shakes and gives some kind of this animation. So I really like this easter egg and moving back into the room, you get the latest security patch of 5th October 2023 and for the kernel you get the stock kernel. So yeah, that's all for the software and now let's talk about the launch. For the launcher you get the pixel launcher for now so talking about the features so when we move into the wallpapers and style tab you get this type of interface I mean it's not a big change but it looks simple and I liked it. Now when we move into the wallpaper section you get a lot of new wallpapers pre-included and other than this you also get some AI wallpapers which I've not tried so much and I'll be talking about this feature on my next video. Moving back, you also get different color patterns for your system like if I select this color pattern, the color of the system gets totally changed. Moving down, you get features like themed icons and option for changing the grid size as usual. Now if I talk about the lock screen features, so here comes the main twist. So when you click on it, as you can see you get a lot of clock styles for your lock screen and always on display. So let me just turn on my always on display. And now when I select the analog clock and turn off my screen, as you can see the clock looks really amazing on my always on display. And now if I turn on the screen, you get this type of animation and it looks really cool in my lock screen. So I really love this feature and moving back, you also get other clock styles too. And let me tell you that you can also change the color and size of the clock from these options. So these are Android 14 exclusive features and I like them. Talking about the home settings, so there aren't something special and new. So yeah, that's all for the launcher. And now let's talk about the pre-installed apps. So talking about the pre-installed apps, so you get the Google Dialer for now. And apart from this, you also get the Google Play Store pre-installed, which works fine. Now for the camera, so as this is an initial build, so you get the Google Camera Go instead of the MIUI Camera and I hope that the developer will include the MIUI Camera in the future builds. So that's all for the pre-installed apps and now if I talk about the QS panels, so there are some minor So firstly instead of getting the separated Wi-Fi and mobile data options, you can now control both of them from this internet button which I don't really like so much because I felt more easier keeping both of the options rather than clicking on the internet option and then turning on and off the Wi-Fi and mobile data. Other than this, you can also check out the security status of your phone from this option and yes, you can also control the mic as well as the camera access and for the flashlight, so yeah, it works fine. So yeah, that's it. Talking about the features and customizations, so when you move into the settings, you get the tab called Evolver, which provides you exclusive customizations of this ROM. So when you open it, you get customizations for different parts of the system. So when you open the themes tab, you get features for controlling the dark theme and moving down. You can also set custom theme style, like if I select the clear theme, you can see that the wallpaper gets visible of our system, which looks great. But I personally use the black theme for better battery backup. Moving back, you can also change the font style from this tab. Like if you look, you get a lot of font styles. Now apart from this, you also get various icon packs, Wi-Fi icon packs, different icon shapes for your apps and even you can customize the brightness bar style like I have selected the default brightness bar for now and if I select the thin style, as you can see that the brightness slider style gets changed. 
Moving back, you also get various navbar styles and even you can customize the signal and data icon styles from these options. Like you get variety of customizations for your icons. Moving back, you also get customizations for your status bar like you can set the network traffic indicator and apart from this, you also get customizations for the battery icon like if I select the circle style, as you can see the battery icon gets changed and moving down, you can also set whether you want to keep the battery percentage hidden or visible inside and outside, so yeah, that's nice. Now moving into the notification tab, you get head up feature for your notifications and moving down, you also get some call vibration features. Now if I talk about the miscellaneous features, so firstly, you get the game space where you can add games to improve the performance and display the live FPS of your games and moving back, you also get some vibration features for your volume and brightness slider. Other than this, you also get spoofing features like unlimited photo storage for Google Photos and unlock higher FPS in games which works fine. So yeah, that's all for the Evolver customizations and now if I talk about the security features, so for now you don't have the face lock but yeah, the fingerprint works fine without any problem. So yeah, that's all for the features and customizations and now let's talk about the performance. So talking about performance, so on papers the Antutu score came about 446k and for the CPU throttle test, the CPU throttled to 83% of its max performance giving a max GIP score of 233k which is fine. Now if I talk about the gaming test, so it also handles everything really well for the gaming. So firstly you get 90fps unlocked for smooth graphics settings on BGMI but for consistent performance I played the matches in smooth and extreme settings. So for the TDM, it gave around 58 to 60 FPS consistently even for longer gaming sessions and for the classic matches, I got about 55 FPS consistently throughout the whole gaming session. And by the way, I've also made a test separately of this room on my Telegram gaming channel so make sure to check it out. So for 5G, so yeah, 5G works fine without any problem as you can check the speeds out so yeah, that's for 5G. Talking about the battery backup, so even considering an initial build, I got about 7 hours of battery backup on heavy usage and for normal usage you can consider 8 plus hours. So the shout out for this room goes to Ashish Jaiswal, nice job bro, appreciate your work. Now if I talk about the bugs, so as this is an initial build, so I don't mind at all. But talking about the bugs, so I got 2 minor bugs. So firstly the volume slider got displaced from its position and it gets fixed after you turn and turn off the dark mode once. Another bug which I faced is regarding the QS panel color. I mean it's not a bug but the QS panel stays totally black even if you disable the dark mode. So these are some minor bugs and other than this I don't have any other issues. So if I talk about my conclusion, so if you are looking for a room that comes on Android 14 and provides good battery backup along with good gaming performance and regular updates, I mean the next updates are gonna be OTA supported, then you should definitely consider this room. Apart from this, I also expect the AI features that were announced with the Google Pixel 8 series in the future updates. And if you are on Evolution X Android 13, then you have to clean flash so as to install the ROM in your POCO X4 Pro through the latest AOSP recovery, not the previous one. So keep that in mind. I'll be providing all the link in the description, so don't worry about that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly, sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.